Good evening and welcome to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block broadcasting live from Ruckus Pizza in Cary. Middle Creek is uh, coming off a 34-24 to loss at Wakefield this past Friday. Um, that drops the record to 2-2 two and two for the Mustangs. Uh, we are joined by head coach Mike Castellano. Uh, coach, this is a game uh, that we led 17-7 to seven early on, um, but ba- uh, Wakefield was really able to battle back and um, you know, take control of the game uh, thanks to their quarterback and, and an effective offense for them. Um, how did you feel about uh, the game? Well, obviously, we're not happy to lose. Um, we did have the lead at one point in the second quarter, 17-7. to We blocked a punt. Um, you'll see the highlight here in a second. Score on it. And we have a lot of momentum at that point. Unfortunately, our defense goes back out there. I believe it was three third downs on that possession. We didn't get a stop. Uh, you love to get off the field there and give our offense an opportunity with the momentum to go ahead and make it a 24-7 to game rather than making it a 17-10 to game. But... You know, we had a lot of opportunities. Um, we had a lot of young men step up and play. Uh, we had a freshman playing left guard majority of the evening, a sophomore playing right guard, um, and they both did well. Uh, first time playing varsity football for one of the young men, and you're going against a Wakefield team who's a pretty good football team, but, you know, that night they were better than us. So I'd like to see what happens if we kind of execute our game plan in the second half. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned the black punt and the highlights, so let's go ahead and jump into those uh, highlights now and take a look. Okay, the first player here you're going to watch, this is Brent. He's uh, moving his feet, doing a great job with some protection, uh, doing a good job for him, but moving his feet to buy some time, and he makes – this is a big boy throw. This is a big college throw right here to Jay in the seam uh, to the right hash, and that's a heck of a throw, heck of a location. A uh, great catch by Jay, and that puts us in position to get some points. The next play we're going to show, uh, Terry Patterson's coming off left edge, and this is earlier in the game, and he gets some good pressure – Tom Hartshorn is coming off the right edge, and he actually finishes off the sack. But you can see Terry here doesn't get credit for the sack, but he makes the young man move, step up in the pocket, which is where we want him to be most of the night, and uh, we get a sack from Tom. We had, I believe, seven on the evening. We missed six more of them. Uh, the next one here is going to be Keon. He's going to block a punt. Uh, this is our sixth block kick of the year. The state record is 17. We want to break that record. And then you see the guys chasing here, T. White, Scores, and that's when we went ahead 17-7 in the game. But that's a huge block punt. That's Keon second on the year. We should have had a couple more. Uh, one, actually, we're getting ready to block it. And their, their punter does a great job getting out of there. Almost hits one of our guys in the head. He actually kicked it over him, which usually doesn't happen. Um, the last one here is Elijah Perry. He's going to run the ball to the right. Our center, right guard, and tackle do a great job of, of blocking there. And Elijah cuts it back. Elijah's a young man has been injured for most of the year, but we're excited to see him back and, and making a big play on that run. Uh, Rasheed did a great job. You know, he's a senior. Uh, Connor's a sophomore playing right guard. He does a heck of a job. And Terry Patterson, who's a junior, does a heck of a job playing right tackle uh, in that play and, and, you know, getting us a big play for a touchdown. Well, you mentioned, you mentioned before we went on air that the defense had, what, 108 plays on the field? We played 108 plays. Uh, we went back and we were watching it with the team. We, we noticed the first two possessions, they have minus two yards. Mm-hmm. And everybody's ex- executing their game plan and doing what we want to do uh, and being successful with it. And then all of a sudden, as the game went on, uh, we ended up going and having 108 plays. I believe we had three offensive plays in the second quarter. And that's when we went from being up 17-7 to to down 21-17 at half. But, you know, they did a good job with an onside kick we didn't recover. Um, you know, we didn't get off the field. And as time went on, uh, we just didn't execute. What were, what were some of the things that, you know, they executed offensively um, that, that allowed them to have some success? Well, Ryan, I saw your notes over there, so you're <laughs> going to ask about the quarterback running around. Yeah. Uh, that was not the plan, let the quarterback run around. We wanted him, as you saw in that highlight of the sack, to step upfield, not go around the end. And, you know, we just didn't do a really good job of, of our assignment of staying, what we call five technique, outside eye of the tackle. If we'd have done that, we'd probably have easily – <laughs> six or seven more sacks, and right. he, he doesn't do as good of a job. The quarterback's a really good player, but he does a, a real good job when he gets off the edge and gets outside. And one play we had to cover for 7.2 seconds. Right. I don't care who you are. Linebackers, DBs are not going to cover for 7.2 seconds. But we didn't do a good job with that. We didn't do a good job by our, our safeties and outside backers sometimes of collisioning uh, the second receiver in the formation, which was mm-hmm. our game plan going in. You saw it work early. We just didn't do it the whole game. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, you mentioned before we went on, too, that uh, their quarterback, Evan Braybrand, 
uh, it was a linebacker last year, and he's more of just a football player. Um, he has that kind of toughness. Some, you know, what what is the difference you'd say between like a you know a quarterback and then someone who's also just a football player? Well, you get some quarterbacks that don't like contact. Some guys that want to go down when people are near them. Um, you know, we don't have one of those. We didn't last year in David. He's a football player. Uh, this year, Brant, he's a football player. You know, he'll try to run over people and do those type of things. Uh, not afraid of the contact at all. Uh, you saw that game, Brant played a really good football game for us. Uh, we got to catch the ball all the time and, and have good protection as well. But that was his best high school football game. He stood in there and took some shots and got the ball delivered. Their kid is not afraid to take shots, to run somebody over, to be under pressure. And that's, that's a sign of a really good football player. You know, sometimes a quarterback's a guy who's a little timid. He's not timid. Well, when you have a certain, you know, skill position, this, uh, last week it was um, the, we, we talked about the quarterback. What do you what do, you do uh, during the week to kind of, you know, right the ship? I know we talked a little bit about it before the show. Uh, if you could just talk about it a little bit more. Well, I'm a really, really smart coach. I don't get in the way of the quarterbacks. I let our quarterback coach do that and our offensive coordinator do that. Um, I'm smart because I know I'm, you know, not real good at it, so I stay <laughs> away. But, right. no, Coach Williams, who was on here last week, and Coach Perdoe, our offensive coordinator, those guys do a great job of every week trying to see what we need to improve in and creating drills. Um, I laugh at a quarterback coach. I'll go down there one day, and I thought they were doing a tango. And he was telling <laughs> me, no, we're teaching our quarterback how to move in the pocket. And I said, hey, Coach, I, <laughs> All right. we, we have good quarterbacks, so I'm going to stay the heck out of the way and, and not worry about it. But they do a great job of doing that and making sure every week they find where they're weak and teach those guys that skill set to get better. Right. So on that, on that block punt, uh, you said we're going for a state record here. Um, and I know we've talked about, you know, a block punt in prior game where you guys kind of diagnosed um, you know, kind of a deficiency in their, in their punt team during the game. Was, was that another occasion of that, or was that just someone just, uh, you know, on their own just making a play? No, we, we have a scheme every week going in. We actually had the same scheme two weeks in a row that Coach Wilkes had drawn up and liked to execute. And, and uh, that was a scheme for last two weeks ago and then again this game. And it was simply a situation where we thought we had some numbers at a certain location. Um, Keon can tell you when he gets up here why he didn't block the other three that he should have <laughs> blocked. But, um, you know, hey, that's what's something we, we take a lot of pride in that. On Monday, we've talked about in the past, but on Monday is our tryout day. And I laughed because Keon came through to do his rep, and he blocked it so hard, he knocked me over this week by hitting the ball. <laughs> and I said, okay, Keon, he smells blood. He knows what it feels like to block that kick. And, and, and it's that double thud you hear when the punter hits it and then we hit the football, that's a great sound when you're on, you're on the return team because that makes a big difference. And that's what we want to do. And 17 is the number. Um, we were joking around, Coach Wilkes and I, in the original Major League movie, they had so many games they needed to win to get to the playoffs. So our goal is to break the state record of kicks blocked. I said, we've got to have something where every week we block two or three, we pull something off until we get the end result, whether it be a T-shirt we give the guys, whether it be an award. But we take a lot of pride in that. That's something we want to be great at, and we work every day on blocking extra point field goal. Um, you know, in this game, a big turning point could have been in the fourth quarter. We score, and we we're trying to decide to go for two or go for one. We went for one. Um, now that puts us down 11 points. Once they score – I'm sorry, put us down one score. Once we scored, they scored, we blocked the extra point. So we got that point back by blocking the extra point that by Terrence White. Point. So yeah. that's something we want to coach and get good at, and that's one of our goals. All right. As we transition into uh, our next segment later on in the show, where do you see uh, this team right now as we head into conference play? Well, uh, you know, I've, I've told everybody, we're a young football team, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's a good thing. We've got a lot of guys that want to compete and, and want to – challenge each other uh i think where we need to be honestly you don't want to be two and two but we told our guys after the game and again on monday we purposely tried to play some of the hardest teams we could find mm -hmm. um you know we know wakefield's a good football team we know ee e. smith was undefeated jv and varsity last year we know garner was undefeated in varsity last year that's two out of three conferences that are pretty darn good conference champions right and to say we could have won or should have won all four in our minds tells you we're pretty close and that we have a young team they're going to get better each week. Right. We had a bunch of seniors. We were looking around at each other going, oh, no, you know, this isn't good. But we're excited. We've got a Noel we think is getting better. We've got a defense we think is getting better. Um, doesn't look that way all the time. But right. that, that's sometimes, you know, things that change by week, by scheme. So I, I love our team. I love our kids. I think we have great coaches. So I'm excited to see what we do in the next couple of weeks. All right. Thank you, Coach, and we'll see you later on the show. Right now you are watching the 
Coach's Show, broadcasting live from Ruckus Pizza for the Sports Block. We'll be right back. Ruckus was started 11 years ago in Mission Valley Shopping Center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza, a great bar, and a good time. Ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite's the food, though. Your favorite's the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs, and Wednesday trivia nights. Uh, there's just always something going on here. It's my favorite part of Ruckus. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bagged or frozen or pre-made. It's all made in-house from scratch ingredients and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24-inch pizza with just right amount of cheese and sauce. And All right, enough about crust. the big pizza. Seriously, I, I sometimes still get a little bit long-winded, and this is a perfect fit for, for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> Ruckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and, and children. Uh, great kids specials, uh, half-price uh, kids meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open till 2 a.m., so the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they Sophomore, uh, two, third, and third. I got one more coming. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome back to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block live from Ruckus Pizza in Cary. We are now joined by JV Defensive Coordinator Craig Weinberg. Uh, coach, you're also uh, helping out with the secondary as well. Um, thank you for for joining us tonight. And if you can just start off by telling everyone a little bit about yourself and your coaching philosophy. Well, I play a little college football and uh, and played a, uh, ended up with my finish up with a baseball career, a little short one, and then I uh, came uh, New York's finest. Thank you. Uh, also, I just want to tell you a little about myself. I also have four boys with a beautiful wife named Jill. Uh, my coach philosophy has always been about uh, hard work. Preparation and discipline. You know, I think if you have that, you know, you're going to be a successful team. You know, you know, limiting your mistakes. Are you uh, are you more of a press box coach or a sideline coach? Would you rather be? I'm definitely a sideline coach. I got to be with my boys. I hear you. you know. Well, what is the what are the what are the most important things uh, that you like to you know coach your boys up on defensively? Well, they they got to you know they got to want it. You know, mm -hmm. and I. Uh, for me, I, I like to get them ready, mm -hmm. you know, and I like to speak to them before they step on the field, you know, at halftime, and you know, I like to look in their eyes and just get them ready to go, and I want, you know, to fly around to the ball. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned you have four sons, and three have already played football for Middle Creek, one right now, and then now, when, another when one on the way. When they're born, do you, as soon as they're born, do you, try, do you put a, you know, a little LB on their shirt? Is that, I mean, they're all linebackers, right? They don't have a choice. So. <laughs> My house is, right now, it's linebacker you, right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Move over to Penn State? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you know, they, you know they, listen, they're, they're good kids, you know, and uh, I told them they could, they could do whatever they want. Right. They want to play the violin, they could play the violin. I wouldn't be happy with it, but <laughs> they could play it, you know. But I've been blessed so far, you right. know, and uh, I got four great boys. Okay. So on, uh, on JV, do you guys run the same types of schemes um, and plays to get them ready for varsity, or how much kind of tweaking do you do at that level? Uh, we, we mirror exactly what the varsity does. You know, Coach Castellano uh, does a great job, you know, and, you know, with the system here, and, you know, you, you, know, you just teach it, you know, they follow it, and uh, it's been pretty successful so far, you know. Also, Coach Wilkes does a great job with the special teams, you know, it's, uh, you know, and, you know, and the, kid, the kids believe in it, you know, and, and they've been working real hard at it. 
you know, what makes you, you know, you have, you've obviously been around defense for quite some time now. What makes you the most proud when you're, you know, whether you're coaching or, or just watching the game um, in general? What makes you the most proud when you see that defensive play? It's a good question. <laughs> you know, I have one a show. You want to know one. something? That the, the one thing that gets me excited always as a coach is those turnovers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I get really excited over it. I mean, I know a lot of people do, but. I mean, I'm ready to run through a wall. When those kids make a turnover, I mean, I'm juiced up. I'm ready right. to go. You know, and I, I know they are too. You know, so it's, it's a good thing. Right. Then uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on the, the game this past Friday at Wakefield? I, well, you want to know something? It, 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 it's over. You know, uh, I think the, uh, the kids, you know, the thing is after a game, you learn from it. I think the kids didn't learn from it. You know, I'm always a true believer that, you know, you have to fail before you can get any better. You know, and I, I think that, you know, they learned a lot of stuff, you know, from last game, and I think they're going to move on for it, and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out. Well, I'll give you the, the same, you know, last question I gave uh, Coach Castellano. Where, you know, heading into conference play, where do you see this, this varsity team at right now at this point? Well, like, you know, they, they're going to be as good as they want to be. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when these guys, you know, when these guys come to play, I'm, they're going to be very hard to beat. You know, and, that, and that's always, and I look at them like that, and that's always the way it's going to be. Right. Well, Coach, I just want to thank you for your time. Once again, guys, you are watching the Sports Block uh, live from Ruckus Pizza. This is the Middle Creek Coaches Show. Ruckus was started 11 years ago at Mission Valley Shopping Center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza, a great bar, and a good time. Ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite's the food, though. Your favorite's the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs, and Wednesday trivia nights. Uh, there's just always something going on here. It's my favorite part of Ruckus. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bagged or frozen or pre-made. It's all made in-house from scratch ingredients and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24-inch pizza with just right amount of cheese and sauce. And All right, enough about crust. the big pizza. Seriously, I, I sometimes still get a little bit long-winded, and this is a perfect fit for for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> Ruckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and and children. Uh, great kids specials, uh, half price. Uh, kids meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open till 2 a.m. So the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they want. Stand by. Welcome back to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block live from Ruckus Pizza in Cary. We are now joined by senior wide receiver Keon Smith. Uh, Keon, thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Um, so if you could start off by telling everyone a little bit about yourself, both as uh, you know in the classroom and on the field and on the court. Uh, I mean, basketball. It's really like, not really, I mean, I like to play basketball, but it's not like my main sport, you know, because I mean, there's usually like tall guards and stuff like that in the position I play. They're like, not really like five, six point guards nowadays. So I kind of stick with football because it was like the first sport I ever really played. Like, so that's why football sports wise, I mean, school, I don't know. It's just like, I just do everything I can every day. What? Do what the teachers tell me. So. Well, it, seem, it seems like you've, um, you know, really developed kind of a niche in the offense, too, the way um, you kind of run a lot of screens, a lot of kind of short routes, and then yeah. we, you can pop off for a long route, too. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just do whatever coaches, the coaches tell me to do, like whatever the play is. That's what I'm assigned to do. That's my position. I'm just there for my team. You and know then, what? Oh, go ahead. And then, um, you know, how did, how did you feel about the, the – this past game and then going into to Apex too, starting off the conference? Uh, I mean, Friday was just like, 
we just didn't really like stay together the whole time. But I mean, we kept fighting. Like we didn't give up at all. It was just like certain times in the game, players were just like getting down on themselves. And as a leader, I was kind of down on myself because I'm like making bad decisions, like not catching the ball and things like that. When I'm just like, I still got to keep my composure and be a leader so my team could play good. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's well, what really things good. what things you take from Friday that uh, you kind of applied in practice and uh, you know moving forward? Uh, I just think like just focusing like throughout like everything like every play like whenever it's like there's something like someone needs to step up and make a play I'm just like recuperating on the field like all right it's time to step up like this is how it's going to be and like mm -hmm. just kind of focus out you know right as a as a wideout how hard is it to kind of forget about the last play you know and kind I mean, of go on to the next one I mean it's it's kind of hard because like I mean you try to focus up and then like you just don't keep your eye on the ball or something like that. You just, it, it's really hard for me because like playing wide receiver, I'm just like, that's my job to catch the ball and I'm catching passes, I'm wide open. Like, that's not a good look, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, ah. Uh. Well, I'll give, you, I'll give you a three pack of, uh, of questions here at the, uh, at the end of the segment and you can just say who it is. Uh, you don't, you can, and then you can say why or you can just say the name, doesn't really matter, but here. Who is the fastest wideout on the team? Wide receiver, like on our team? Yep. The Bengals. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Curtis is pretty fast. Uh, but you think you're faster, right? I don't. Know. I mean, yeah, I think I'm faster than <laughs> Curtis. <laughs> Who's ha who has the best hands on the team? Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were going to be more confident in these questions. Nah, I mean, whoever just steps up, you know, it's just like whoever makes a play, that's who, I don't know. I don't think, I'm not saying I'm like the best player on the team or anything, like, I don't know. It's just. I'll give you, I'll give you one more shot. Who, who do you think is Brand's favorite receiver? <laughs> that's even worse. <laughs> uh, you, don't, you don't have to answer that. You don't. I'm just messing <laughs> with you. <laughs> joking. <laughs> Or you can. <laughs> I can't do it. Well, th <laughs> thank you for your time. Guys, once again, you are watching the Middle Creek Coaches Show, broadcasting live from Ruckus Pizza. This is the Sports Block. <laughs> Ruckus was started 11 years ago in Mission Valley Shopping Center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza, a great bar, and a good time. Ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite's the food, though. Your favorite's the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs, and Wednesday trivia nights. Uh, there's just always something going on here. It's my favorite part of Ruckus. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bagged or frozen or pre-made. It's all made in-house from scratch ingredients and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24-inch pizza with just right amount of cheese and sauce. And All right, enough about crust. the big pizza. Seriously, I, I sometimes still get a little bit long-winded, and this is a perfect fit for, for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> Luckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and, and children. Uh, great kids specials, uh, half-price uh, kids meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open till 2 a.m., so the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they Welcome back to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block, live from Ruckus Pizza in Cary. We are now joined by men's and women's tennis coach, Rhonda Blanchard. Uh, coach, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, and if you could just start off by telling everyone a little bit about yourself, both as a person and a coach. This is my fourth year at Middle Creek. Uh, my fourth year coaching the men's tennis team, third year coaching the uh, women's tennis team. 
previous, uh, prior to coming to Middle Creek, I was at Cary High. Uh, so, th but this has been a great transition. I have great kids. Um, I couldn't ask for a better situation, a better group of kids to work with. Yeah, so I mean, let's, we'll go ahead and jump right into it then. Um, how, you know, how do the teams look this year, both men's and women's? Our girls are four and seven. They just beat Holly Springs yesterday, seven two. Um, we have Athens, Cary, and Fuquay left. Um, we should finish a 500 record. You know, and um, you know, when I think of tennis, I ultimately ultimately think of kind of like an individual sport or individual sport. How do you uh, you know train and coach a team, um, a team of ind individuals to have that team concept? Actually, we've been very fortunate with that. Our kids are, are pretty, they're pretty close. The boys and the girls team, um, actually, uh, they fundraise together. Um, you know, we have tennis gatherings that both teams uh, attend. So they're pretty much like a family. They blend together nicely. Um, I don't have a kid on the team on, on either team who really acts like an individual. Right. Even though it is an individual sport, they're very team oriented. Yep. Who are uh, who are some of the players to, to look for this year? Who you know, who are some players that have really stepped up? I have two seniors. Uh, one one of them's actually here. If you don't mind I'm gonna ask her to stand. Sure, yeah. She's a senior captain, Liz. My other senior is Lauren Sugarman, um, a player to look out for. Um, it's Kelly Bradford, and I'm, you guys will hear from her next. Yeah. Uh, she's a sophomore. She's having a really good season. Uh, and then we have a freshman, uh, Peyton Williams, who will be another player that you'll hear a lot about in the future. You know, what are the main, what are the main focuses when, uh, you know, getting, getting this team ready for a season? Um, obviously, you spoke a little bit about the team, uh, the team concept. What were some of the other focuses when you know you're gearing up for a season? We work a lot in the summer. Mm -hmm. Both the boys and the girls work together. Uh, we do workouts together. Um, the girls oftentimes hit with the guys. I think that makes the girls much better, much right. stronger. Um, but th they really, really work hard in the off season. Right. And I'll ask you one last question. I kind of just want to, you know, get a coach, coach's point of view from this. But what, it, what, is, what are the main things, you know, what are the best ways, you know, to dominate your opponent in a match? Like, if, you're play, if, I'm, playing, if I'm playing Ryan over here, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that I need to do to dominate him on a tennis court? Work out. <laughs> I do work out. <laughs> but besides that. Well, I mean, that's going to depend on, like, what your <laughs> opponent's strength is and what your strength is. But um, if you want to talk about dominating a tennis match, you should save that question for Nick Stachowiak. All right. I'll write that down. <laughs> Don't forget it. But thank you once again, Coach, for joining us. You guys are watching the Sports Block, Thanks, broadcasting guys. live from Ruckus Pizza. This is the Middle Creek Coaches Show. Ruckus was started 11 years ago at Mission Valley Shopping Center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza, a great bar, and a good time. It is a ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite's the food, though. Your favorite's the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs. Wednesday trivia nights, uh, there's just always something going on here. It's my favorite part of it. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. Our menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bagged or frozen or pre-made. It's all made in-house from scratch ingredients, and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24 inch pizza with just right amount of cheese and sauce. And all right, enough about crust. the big pizza, seriously. I, I sometimes they'll get a little bit long winded and this is a perfect fit for, for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> 
Luckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and, and children. Uh, great kids specials, uh, half price uh, kids meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open until 2 a.m. so the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they Welcome back to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block live from Ruckus Pizza. We are now joined by women's tennis player Kelly Bradford. Um, Kelly, thank you for joining us. We just talked to your coach. She mentioned that you were a sophomore and a uh, player to look out for this year. Um, so could you talk a little bit about um, yourself and, and how the, um, the team is doing this year? I'm Kelly. I'm a sophomore. This is my second year playing on the team and my sixth year playing tennis. And so far, uh, doubles, I've won more than singles, which I favor doubles, but it's been a pretty good year. It's probably my favorite year so far. So you said you, you favor doubles? Mm -hmm. um, why is that? I just like, I'd rather have a teammate that I can talk to and communicate with, and it's more fun for me. I like to talk, so it's more <laughs> of a better time. Well, what things do you look for during a match to kind of put you in a position to, to win? It's mostly about, like, mental. Since you're there on the court alone, it's all about just not getting mad at yourself and just positive and all of that. So um, how did you land on tennis? What uh, drew you to the sport? Well, I had done gymnastics before, and I kind of wanted something that's not as intense. And I thought tennis would be, would be like that. But I found that tennis is actually pretty intensive training and that type of stuff. But, and then I fell in love with it, and I've been playing ever since. Well, you talked about the, the training be, being intense. What do you, you know, get, how do you get yourself ready for an upcoming season? You said you've, this is your sixth go-around um, as far as tennis seasons. What do you do to get yourself ready? I play year-round, and I go to Sunset Ridge, and I take lessons. And then also we have workouts usually throughout the year that I go to and just to keep up and not take breaks, which helps. Right. Is there anyone in the like, professional game that you kind of look to, look up to, model your game after? Uh, my favorite would have to be Sharapova. She's just like graceful and she makes it look pretty. <laughs> she makes tennis look Agreed. pretty. Agreed. Yeah. So one last question, uh, just trying to see, trying to see what, what it is, but uh, what's your favorite swing in tennis and why? I would say my backhand. It's my powerful stroke, if you want to say, and I just, it's always there as a backup. It's not always on or off. It's perfect all the time, so it's probably my favorite. So you go back to your, go back to what's comfortable, right? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for joining thank us. You. Once again, guys, you are watching The Coach's Show, broadcasting live from Ruckus Pizza. This is the Sports Block. Ruckus was started 11 years ago in Mission Valley Shopping Center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza, a great bar, and a good time. It is a ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite is the food, though. Your favorite is the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs. Wednesday trivia nights, uh, there's just always something going on here. It's my favorite part of it. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. Our menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bag or frozen or pre-made. It's all made in-house from scratch ingredients and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24 inch pizza with just right amount of cheese and sauce. And all right, enough about crust. the big pizza, seriously. I, I sometimes still get a little bit long-winded and this is a perfect fit for, for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> Luckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and, and children. Uh, great kids specials, uh, half price uh, kids meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open until 2 a.m. so the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they
Welcome back to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block Live in Ruckus Pizza in Cary. We are now joined by men's tennis player Nick Stachowiak. Um, Nick, thank you for joining us tonight. Yep, thank you. Yeah, no problem. If you could uh, just start off by telling everyone a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Nick Stachowiak. I'm a sophomore at Middle Creek. Um, and tennis is pretty much my life. I uh, started playing tennis when I was four years old. That was the first time I picked up a tennis racket. Oh. And I fell in love with it and have been playing ever since. So you won a uh, state championship That last is correct. Year. Yep. That's awesome. Thank you. How was that? Uh, it was great. Um, definitely my goal last year was to make it to states and uh, do well, and I definitely achieved my goal of winning. I'd say so. Well, then, you know, when, when I hear, when I hear um, athletes talk about, you know, falling in love with, falling in love with the sport, like, how, do, you know, how does that motivate you to keep getting better when, you know, you love to, you know, do what you do? Um, well, when I work out, you know, you don't always want to work out, but since you love the sport, you want to, uh, make yourself the best you can be at the sport. And so that motivates me to work out and get better. Now the, the state championship, was that in singles? It was in singles. Do you, do you play doubles as well? I do play doubles. What, you know, when you play, when you play the, the, the two, what, what's, what are the differences in the, in the two styles? Um, in doubles, you have a partner, so... You only hit the ball about half the time. <laughs> I was going to guess that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but doubles is a lot faster because one player is at the net, and so your reaction time has to be a lot faster than if you're at the baseline. Right. And then uh, I'll ask you the same question I asked Kelly, but do you, is there anyone professionally that you watch and kind of look, look up to? Look uh, my favorite player would have to be Novak Djokovic. Um, he's my favorite player because he was ranked number three in the world and he didn't settle for being number three and so he decided to amp up his fitness and work out more and he became number one. Yeah. Well, I have one last, one last question for you and it's a very serious one so if you give me a truthful answer that'd be nice. Um, <laughs> does grunting while you serve make you play better? <laughs> it does not. It, it helps him in everyday life. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you for not, joining not us I'm, I'm done I don't have anything else to say well thank you for joining us Nick thank you thank you <laughs> once again you are watching the Middle Creek Coaches show live from Ruckus Pizza we'll be right back I got Ruckus was started 11 years ago Mission Valley Shopping Center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza a great bar and a good time Ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite's the food, though. Your favorite's the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs, and Wednesday trivia nights. Uh, there's just always something going on here. It's my favorite part of Ruckus. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bagged or frozen or pre-made. It's all made in-house from scratch ingredients and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24-inch pizza with just right amount of cheese and sauce. And All right, enough about crust. the big pizza. Seriously, I, I sometimes still get a little bit long-winded, and this is a perfect fit for for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> Ruckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and and children. Uh, great kids specials, uh, half price. Uh, kids meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open till 2 a.m. So the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they want. Welcome back to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block from Ruckus Pizza in Cary. And this is our final segment of the night. Uh, before we get into it, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us out here at Ruckus tonight. Um, we'd also like to thank anyone watching at home, streaming it uh, live. 
thank you for watching it. Uh, Coach, what do, you, what do you think about the turnout tonight? Well, first off, I want to say thank you, everybody's here and the people at Ruckus. But I noticed something. If I'm talking or Coach Bordeaux or Coach Williams talking, we have a small crowd. But if you can scan over to the left, you'll see a sign up there. Coach Weinberg gets to speak tonight, and he brings his own cheering section. It's a legitimate section, yeah. <laughs> so we, we rotate coaches, and Coach Weinberg came in last week, and he said, uh, my wife said I have to talk on Friday. I can bring, like, you know, 85 people. <laughs> so I thought he was joking to bring four or five people, but he's got a great crowd here tonight. We have some teachers that are here as well tonight. Obviously, some of the administration um, for Mr. And, and Coach Blanchard here, so we appreciate it. I thought it was pretty neat, that sign over there. Yeah. All right, so to get kind of jump uh, back into our final segment here, um, opening conference play this Friday at Apex, and um, Apex is coming into the game at one and three, um, but I know what you're going to say already. You certainly don't want to overlook anyone, in, especially not a conference opponent, right? No, we, um, you know, we just got to win one at a time. We talk about being one to know. But at this point, um, Apex is an athletic football team. Offensively, they try to run the option. We've got some good players. Defensively, uh, you know, they're a four-man front with a lot of athletic guys up front. So, you know, we've got a challenge of trying to play disciplined and play hard and, you know, and, and try to get a win. Um, our mission and goal, Coach Bordeaux brought it up this week, we're the two-time defending conference champions. Uh, so you've got to win this one to have a chance to be – for the first time in school history, the three-time defending champion. Yeah, it's big. Uh, how much, I mean, uh, these, uh, these tough losses in the non-conference, how much do you sp uh, focus on them as learning tools, or um, do you just take them and, you know, move on to the next one? I know you've said a few times um, that you, you're always focusing on being 1-0. and you, you move on on Monday. You know, you get Monday and you get in there with the players and you do grades and you watch film. By the time that's done, we go to the practice field, it's over. Yeah. It's over. We're ready for the next game. Um, we're focused on that and trying to get our guys ready. Unfortunately, with some of the injuries, we're kind of shuffling a little bit to see who the next guy up is. But, hey, they all go through practice. So that's yeah. kind of our focus. Right. So it's uh, yet, yet another away game. But, I mean, the, the support for Middle Creek at away games has been tremendous so far. The Creek Crazies and everyone else turning out. I'm sure Apex, you know, it's a little, you know, it's a shorter drive. So I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a big crowd there again. So how do you but, feel about that? Well, I hope so. Um, you know, we have a great crowd. We have great, great people that support the program and all of our programs. The Creek Crazies do an incredible job. Um, we're going to work on trying to get those guys out here one time for the coaches show too. <laughs> right. Um, but, you know, we enjoy going on the road. It's almost kind of like a production to us where how many people are involved, the Creek Crazies, and those type of things. And we told our guys, hey, let's go win this game, and then we'll figure out what our stadium looks like again. Right. For the right. first time, uh, we didn't play at home in September, so we can get home in October. That'd be nice, but that doesn't matter. We've got to win on Friday and, and get the support we always get. Yeah. Well, you talked, about, uh, you talked a little bit about uh, – we talked earlier a little bit about um, um, the coach from Wakefield – or the coach, excuse me, the, the quarterback from Wakefield kind of giving you guys trouble with his scrambling ability. The option can also kind of give you the same – the same, you know, feel as far as, you know, the line kind of breaking down. What have you been doing, the, you know, this week to kind of help with that option? Well, obviously, that's all we really rep today on defense was how to defend that. Um, you know, everybody's got a job assignment. On each particular call, each guy's responsible for one thing. We just got to make sure each guy does that properly on each call. So we just – it's all about responsibility, football, and being accountable. Mm -hmm. All right, one last uh, question, Coach, and we'll get you guys out of here. Uh, what, uh, what's, your, what's your focus for this team um, as you head into conference in your first conference game? Beating Apex. That's it. <laughs> we we want to get better and beat Apex. <laughs> want to be 1-0 and in the conference. That's it. All right. Well, thanks, Coach, and thanks to all of our guests. Guys, you've been watching the Middle Creek Coach Show live from Ruckus Pizza for the Sports Block. We'll see you next time. <laughs>